What is good, wonderful world of one wheel. Welcome back to First Fridays. I am your host, Bodie Harrison. Today we're talking about what went down in the month of March on our one wheels. And to kick things off, check out this super rad cinematic edit of this Grom absolutely shredding, getting stoked for spring season by Trevor Borgois, I think, or Burgess. I don't know how it's pronounced, but check it out. How was that, huh? Little homie was ripping. I love that one. Super stoked. Gets me hyped for spring. This warmer weather has been awesome. It's rainy, but it's warm. I'm super hyped on it. And springtime means competition season has officially started. Let it ride. Three went down this month. It was super fun. Very, very fast and intense racing. Great job to Zach the Builder, Joey, and everybody that conceptualized the track, put it together. It was awesome. Having lots of features like that in the race is super cool. It mixes things up. Up, it challenges the riders. I had a super good time hosting the live stream. There's a live stream on the Let It Ride Instagram. You can check it out if you missed it. The women's podium was Sarah Meeker in third place, Raquel McCosker in second place, and Mercedes Silva taking the win. Big ups to you ladies. And Austin and Mercedes actually both won the killer couple, the dynamic duo. I'm calling them the golds now. Both took one and two with Jafari Sisley coming in second and Jeff Adair coming in third. Again, congratulations to you guys. It was so much fun to watch. If you want to know any of the other places and the results, they're on the One Wheel Racing League Instagram. Aside from having badass racing, some really fun late night festivities, including a couple sets by myself, AJ, Aaron Alexander did a couple songs, Nikki Gibbler played some tracks. We had a ton of fun and also they had a find your line free riding challenge that was epic to see and everybody threw down there was a section of the land chunked out these three main hills and it started with a jam session everybody just hucking their meat showing the judges their stuff then we narrowed that down to i think eight guys and then those eight had four minutes and 20 seconds to lay down some runs across the mountain and then that was narrowed down to a top three it came down to a really close one and two between jesse turpin and elijah soto elijah taking home the win Big shout out to you, brother. Throwing a body barrel on this edge that nobody else was doing tricks on after doing some really sweet freestyle footwork at the top into a clean drop. Jesse was throwing down off the cliff, being extremely consistent, stomping his landing super clean, giving it style. And uh, it was truly a spectacle. There's a lot of cool clips and photos from the event that will be coming out over the next few weeks. But overall, Let It Ride 3 was super fun. I had an absolute blast. A ton of people had a blast. The weather was a bit rough in the beginning, but it's not a one wheel event if it doesn't rain, right? Like I mentioned, Vince is out in Europe and they just actually had a super cool meetup competition in the mountains of Gatinara, I believe is how it's pronounced. They had a freestyle free riding competition with some features and some badass riders, which came down to Martin Vokaka, I think, in third place. Second place was the homie Max, and first place came down to Hans Chapman. This dude absolutely rips. Probably one of the dirtiest, if not the dirtiest guys on a wheel. Mad respect to you, mad respect to all you guys. I'm sure it was a blast. Hopefully next year or later this year, we can make it out to some of those European events. Looks like you guys really know how to throw down out there. Now, I'm sure you guys saw this one because it went all over the internet, blew up on our social medias. It even made it onto some of the news and it was at the Dune premiere. A dude pulled up on a giant worm thing that he made with his one wheel and was riding around the movie theater. It was super sweet. Uh, it had me rolling on the floor when I first saw it. And then I saw the movie and the movie was really great. So definitely check out Dune if you haven't seen Dune yet. All right, now check out the homie Steve Ginter out here bonking over cactuses. Clipped his tail a little bit on the spikes on that one. That was sick, super dope. I love bonk, trying to bonk over stuff. Coolest bonk over anything I've ever seen was actually not even over the object, but when Kyle did the bonk hippie jump in A New Normal, and that was absolutely nuts. Steve's a really awesome guy. He makes some really cool content, so definitely check out his pages. And then check out my little buddy Lincoln. 
with the sparks, throwing the sparks, having a good time out there. Gotta love seeing the Groms ripping around. I met Lincoln at Dirt Surfers last year. He's a super sweet kid. Keep an eye out for him in the race scene. We'll see if he pops into there one day. Now I'm starting to get really stoked for Seeking Shreds Shred Fest this year. It's probably my favorite event of the year. It's local, it's the homies, there's all this great music, there's fun riding. And there's the legendary freestyle park, the Ben Wheel Park, tributed to the late homie Ben. We miss you buddy, RIP. Grayson wanted to check in with us with a fresh clip of her ripping around. She's been practicing, riding her one wheel every day. And we're super excited to add a couple features to the park and have another super epic throwdown this year because last year was buck nasty. There was finger flips, there was nose slides, there was drifting, there was slamming, there was stomping, there was huge drop, there's little drops, there's benches. It is a spectacle. So definitely, definitely keep an eye out for that and go to Shredfest this year for sure. Now as I was scouring through the Facebooks, the forums, the internet, I found this couple here and I really am digging the vibes, guys. Gotta give them a couple of the month with their outfits out, enjoying this beautiful spring weather, getting out there. Much love, much respect to you guys. Yo, is homie all right? I guess this is how he takes his breaks on group rides. I guess that's a good way to get the weight off of your feet for a second when the dogs are barking. And while the dogs are barking about things, check out how barking cool this juggling clip is from the homie Andrew. Love this guy. And he's been juggling on his one wheel the last, I don't know how long, it's probably been over a year at this point that he started doing it. And it's super cool. I love the LED juggle balls. I can't juggle for crap. I'm learning to juggle my kendama a little bit, but juggling is hard, especially riding your one wheel. So. Kudos to you, Andrew. Love you, buddy. I'll see you at Oak City. Another Andrew that's cool, doing cool things on his one wheel is Andrew Corral, ripping the violin on his one wheel. Dude is a ripping violin player. Super awesome. I love violin. I actually played cello when I was in middle school, fun fact. It's cool to see such a elegant and classical instrument mixed with such an elegant and futuristic device. We love to see it. We're here for it. And while we're talking about things we were stoked to see, I don't know if you all saw Jason's insane triple wall drop gap. He got a little bit of help from the palm tree on that one, but you gotta get some help from the homies every now and again. Coming out really clean, super stoked. Big ups, buddy, I love you big time. He's one of the main guys of Def Punks. He hosts Def Punks Fall Fest every year. Super duper fun time. Definitely look into that one. St. Patty's Day was this month, obviously. Hopefully you didn't get pinched. I certainly covered my bases in more green that day. I imagine lots of you guys went out riding on St. Patrick's Day. David Hartle definitely thoroughly enjoyed his St. Patrick's Day, doing a whole juggling show in his local parade on the one wheel. These are some photos from it. I'm sure it was an absolute spectacle to see. I know the homie Michael Foster had some fun out and about with his local crew. Thank you for sending those clips in, Michael. And please feel free to send in your footage Photos, favorite moments, epic sights, epic fails, crashes, burns, you name it. Send them in to me, Bodie at OneWheel.com. I'd love to feature them on the show and show everybody what we're all up to and how amazing our beautiful community is and celebrate that together. And that's uh, about all I got for you guys this month. Thank you so much for being with me. Thank you so much for riding your one wheels, spreading the stoke, spreading the joy, spreading the love, because that's what this is all about. And we're going to keep doing it day in and day out, year after year, month after month. And I will see you guys next month on the next episode. Send me your clips. Have some fun. I hope to see some of you guys around this month. Lemonade Flow Fest is coming up. Super stoked for that. I'll be at Texas Eclipse Festival too if anybody's there. Hit me up. Have some fun. Let's do his thing. We out. Yeah, baby, you're lucky.